Cisco sent me this. A switch. And this switch. And this switch. These are enterprise grade switches. Large businesses deploy these in their networks. But that's not why Cisco sent these to me. They want to put these switches, these massive enterprise grade switches. Ugh, it's getting heavy. Inside your small business. Wait, what? Aren't these kind of expensive? No, no, they're not. Check this out. You can get this enterprise grade switch on Amazon right now for $340. That's crazy. Now, the reason I'm so hyped about this switch, the Catalyst 1000 series, is because it's an enterprise grade switch that we're putting inside a small business. Did you hear that? That's kind of a big deal. It doesn't normally happen. Now, as a network engineer, I always want that to happen, but it often doesn't because these are too expensive, kind of hard to configure, like you need a network engineer to configure these, but that's not the case with the 1000 series. So when Cisco reached out and said, hey, I want you to take a look at our new switches, I'm like, oh, okay, just another switch. They're like, no, 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 different story here. We want small to medium sized businesses to have these. Businesses that are maybe managed by an MSP, a managed service provider that will often just monitor and configure the devices for them, or the business that is just one guy trying to make sure his network is always up. That got my attention. So in this video, we're gonna explore this beauty. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to configure this. Like really anyone can do this, five minutes. And I'm talking like power it on, configure it, stack these together, make them one unified switch, Again, crazy easy. And we'll talk about why it's really amazing for a small business to have something like this. And thank you to Cisco for sponsoring this video. Man, this is God, heavy. So anyways, let's get going. On the Cisco Catalyst 1000 series, what this guy is, we have a zero day provisioning feature. So I plug it in, powering on. Wait just a few minutes for it to boot up and then you'll find this button right here. We're gonna hold it down just for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and release. We just put that sucker in easy mode. Now we're gonna connect a cable. Port one is fine. And take the cable and connect it to our computer. Connecting mine now. Then fire up your favorite web browser. In the address bar, navigate to 10.0.0.1, the GUI of your Cisco switch. Username, Cisco, password, Cisco, easy enough. And here we are at the day zero wizard. It's super easy, check this out. Go to wizard. I'm gonna name my switch, username, password. Time is good, I'll click on interface configuration. Here, I'll enter my network information and then I'm almost done. Click on summary and that was it. Click submit, and I'm done. No command line scariness, just a few clicks in my GUI, my graphical user interface, and I can call it a day. I'll get logged back in with my new credentials, and I've got this beautiful GUI. Now, real talk, why do I care if you put a Cisco switch in your small business? First, let me tell you one of my favorite things I love doing when I step into a network. I'll jump on one of the Cisco devices, and I'll look at how long that device has been up meaning it hasn't lost power, it hasn't been rebooted or anything. Oftentimes, it's a very long time. I'm talking years, these devices just run with no issues. That's one of the first things I'll tell people when they say, why Cisco, they're so expensive, which again, they're not. I always say, they just work and they're up all the time. <laughs> why do you think network engineers love them? Also, side note, do you hear this thing? <laughs> no, you don't. There's like, it's fanless. This little guy is fanless. You can't, it's, it's so quiet, you can put it anywhere. Like it's right up next to my microphone. Nothing. Now I think the biggest selling point of the switch is that inside, baked inside, is Cisco IOS. That's the operating system that has been on Cisco switches and routers for a very long time, and it's awesome. It's packed full of features, and if you wanna configure it, you can use a pretty GUI like I showed you, or if you do have network engineers, if you have people on staff who wanna configure it like that, they can. The command line's still there. So looking back at our switch, and it's pretty GUI, we can monitor everything from right here. We can look at ports, clients connected. We can also configure some crazy stuff right from here. Like if I go to services, static routing, security, I can add access control list, spam ports, routing protocols, QoS. Gotta make sure those phone calls sound crisp. And again, if you're more of a CLI person or you have someone on staff, you can enter commands right here, right in the GUI, or you can SSH or even this, check this out. If you have a little USB Bluetooth adapter like this, you can plug it into your switch's USB interface. I can add this switch as a Bluetooth device on my computer, which is crazy. There it is right there, NC switch. Click next, next, and then via Bluetooth, I can just connect to my switch here, which is kind of cool. All right, now let's say your small business is growing. You want to add another switch. How do you do that? It's crazy easy. Utilizing the SFP module on our switches, we can connect them together and essentially make them one switch. So I'll connect my cable in here and then plug it into the SFP module of my first switch. So I gave it a moment to boot up. Let's see what happens. I'm going to refresh my dashboard here. Boom, do you see this, do you see this? I've got two switches here that I can manage from one portal, one IP address. The single IP management is so awesome. And notice, I didn't configure that switch. I took it out of the box, I connected to the other switch and I powered it up. It just 
magically happened. <laughs> it, it took in all the config from the first switch, and they became best friends, and now we can manage everything just from here. If I go to the ports, there they all are. I can manage both just from right here. It's, it's amazing. Now what's cool is you can connect up to eight switches like this. And you know, maybe eight ports isn't quite enough for you. Maybe you're growing, like <laughs> you're a crazy fast growing company. We got you. Oh, this beautiful boy, 48 port, whoo, Catalyst 1000 series. Let's add them to the team. It's just as simple. Same thing as before. Connect the new switch to the first switch and power this sucker up. It should be up, let's refresh and see. Oh, bam, look at that, 48 ports of amazing Cisco goodness, and it's all managed from one single IP. That's just cool, like come on, that's awesome. And I didn't have to configure it. Now your small business probably has things like IP phones, security cameras, and other IoT devices that require power from your switch. These things can do it, even the small one. Let's plug the sucker in right now. Let's power up my phone. Here we go. Oh yeah. I love it when it lights up. Woo! Then of course our security camera. And check this out, right from the dashboard I can see how much PoE I'm using, how much is it unused on that switch. That's, that's amazing. Now this PoE is pretty smart. It has something called perpetual PoE. 10 times fast, perpetual PoE, <laughs> that's hard. Anyways, watch this, when I reboot my switches, if I ever need to, notice when I reboot it, my stuff won't power down. I'm going to restart the switch, save my config, and watch what happens, it's gonna stay up. It's rebooting now. Perpetual PoE, man. Stuff isn't going down, that's pretty cool. And one more thing about these switches, they have this feature, I, I love the name of it, it's called the Dying Gasp. Why can't all of our features be named like that? But anyways, what happens is when your switch powers off, or loses power somehow, whatever. Often in a network, you're like, uh, what happened? Part of the network went down. I need to go troubleshoot, and you find out the switch powered off. That requires you going to find out it did. The dying gasp kind of helps you with that. If your switch loses power, let's say just some knucklehead unplugs the back, with this last ounce of power, as it's going down, it'll send out one little message, help, I'm going down. It's dying gasp. It's a little SNMP trap. It'll let your monitoring solution know that it went down, it lost power. I don't know why, I just get tickled when I think about that, but it's a cool feature. I've been there. So anyways, that's just a few things I love about these switches. They're really easy to set up. They're for people who don't really know how to configure Cisco, and also for people who love Cisco and live and breathe the CLI like I do. And y'all know, I'm a Cisco fanboy through and through, but I think for good reason. I've been in companies where they'd try to buy equipment that I wouldn't consider the best brand. And sure, that equipment might have been cheaper. But time and time again, there were security holes, there were issues with the switch, configuration, it wasn't as reliable. And I would always just plead with them, please, please, just invest in buying Cisco, please. But now the argument isn't crazy because these switches are enterprise grade, but they're affordable for small businesses. And again, that's a big deal for small businesses. Enterprise grade stuff like this just seems so far out of reach. So when Cisco came to me and said, hey, we have these enterprise grade switches that run Cisco IOS that network engineers love and they love deploying like me, and we're making it affordable for small businesses. I'm like, that's pretty lit. I like that. Now, as far as models go, they got quite a few. Pretty much any flavor to suit your need. Small ones, big ones, short ones, tall ones. I don't know the, the rhyme. <laughs> and what I love about this is that the business you're working for, maybe you're the small business, you don't plan on being a small business forever. You plan on growing. With a lot of solutions, as you grow and you become bigger, you kind of have to do a forklift upgrade on your network, meaning you have to just buy all new equipment to accommodate a more enterprise feel as you become bigger. With this, it's already there. <laughs> like you already have enterprise grade equipment that wasn't crazy expensive, and it just kind of molds and melds into an enterprise product as you mature as a company. You don't have to rip and replace, you just keep adding, which is awesome. Okay, so far we've only talked about switches. We've got to zoom out a bit though, right? Because there's more than just a switch in a network. You've got, well, wireless. You need wireless, right? Well, Cisco's got your back. This little guy right here, you can just plug into the the, it's in the smallest switch right now. It's powered by that switch with PoE. And this sucker runs a wireless controller and itself as an AP. It's the Cisco Aeronet 1815. And it's it's kind of cute, isn't it? <laughs> it's tiny. And then you can add other APs to this as well. Like this big boy right here is the Cisco Catalyst, one of their newest APs that runs Wi-Fi 6. And just like with the switches where you can manage them in a nice pretty GUI, um, the same thing goes for the wireless. Got a really pretty GUI for the wireless. Very clean, very polished, just like the other one. And then of course you need a router to get to the internet, right? And Cisco has their Cisco 900 series integrated services router, or ISR router. It's powerful, compact, quiet, and it can do everything you would expect of a modern network. VPN, firewall, application visibility and control, all the goodies. Okay, we spent this entire video geeking out over the Cisco stuff. Now a large part of it is because I'm a fanboy, no doubt, yes, but I'm a fanboy for a reason. 
It always hurt my heart, hurt my soul a little bit when I have to tell a small business or even a small to medium sized business, yeah, Cisco would be the best option for you, but they'd see the price tag and be like, uh, no, we can't do that. And that's by design. Typically these types of switches and, and, and things would not be geared towards a small business, but this is different now. This is actually an enterprise grade switch targeted to small businesses. The price points there, you got the features, you got the ease of configuration. Security, I mean, you don't wanna get hacked, right? <laughs> We're seeing hacks galore every day. When you go with the enterprise grade switch, those worries aren't as big. And even as a small business, you're kind of already thinking big. And you're gonna grow, right? You plan on growing, you plan on expanding, and you've already got enterprise grade stuff. You just need to add to that. You don't have to rip and replace. This will grow with you. Well, that's all I have. If you wanna check out anything to do with these Cisco switches, APs, routers, got links below to check those out. Also, if you wanna learn how to use these, not just the GUI part, but the CLI, and configure small, medium, even large, businesses, I also have a free Cisco CCNA course to get you started. Check out that link below as well. And I actually feature these switches in the, the course, so you get to kind of see that journey go forth. Also, if you like this video, well, you should probably like it. And if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe, follow the journey, and let me know what you think below. Do you think it's a cool thing that Cisco's having an enterprise-grade switch in a small business, like they're targeting small businesses? I think it's pretty cool, but I want to know your thoughts. Let me know below. But yeah, that's seriously all I have. I'll catch you guys next time.